Our next designer is Madame Grace. You may or may not have heard of this designer before. Within your notes, you'll see a biographical photo of her. Um, she is not very well known in regards to her face, but her designs and her style of designs is very well known and is something we practice still very much today. She was born in 1903. Her fashion house is the House of Grace. That's what uh, the name she sort of landed on. It was formerly something else. Um, you can just look in your notes to see what it was formerly called, but eventually she settled on the name House of Grays. She is known for draped designs, so draped gowns, Grecian goddess. So you're thinking of, and like I said, once we head to fashion and film, you're talking Grace Kelly and that beautiful white gown where you can see the cross pleating in the bodice. Um, very soft, very elegant, very whimsical, but also a lot of structure. They are very prominent. If you think of Caesar and Greek goddesses, you think of how they flowed very beautifully. And that was a lot of what her style was about. That was her design aesthetic. Um, key features of her designs were the one shoulders, the exaggerated peplums, and the shoulder pleats. So again, basically those sweeping pleats. And I find it interesting as effortless as a pleated, pleated gown looks as effortless as those design looks, I assure you, they are not effortless. It takes a lot of work to make something look like it wasn't very much work when it comes to certain designs. And this Grecian goddess look is definitely one of them. Internal structure in these garments is so important for it to look like not very much. So I thought that I would sort of like let you know that it's not, I mean, you can just drape it, but it's sort of the sort of thing, once it's not on the wearer, it doesn't look like much of anything. So it takes a lot of uh, construction to make it look beautiful, both on and off the model. She dies in 1993. Um, her house uh, does not live on, unfortunately, but obviously her influence was something that carried on up until now. Um, it should also be noted, she was also a great sculptress. So she was someone who sculpted from clay and those sort of mediums. And I find it interesting how she moved from that to sort of creating these beautiful designs and how it shows in the dresses that she was able to make. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking, fashion, lectures, and more. Enroll in Lady Cloth U on Teachable for dressmaking and fashion design courses. See you again soon.